Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I'm actually filming this on Friday. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, I was going to do a room update for you guys this weekend because it's still, I was able to get in there a little bit um, to do some work I can't talk about right now, um, but I had to tear everything back down again real quick. I mean, it, it, things weren't like they are going to be, but I was able to get in there well enough, but um, like I said, I had to tear everything back down because they showed back up again today. And um, they've left everything completely covered in plastic. So I can't even like show you guys the room because there's like a hallway of plastic that they've created. They're trying to contain all the drywall dust, um, which is very kind of them. Um, so they've just got everything like sealed to the nth degree in plastic. So I can hardly even get in that room, let alone film an update. So stay tuned. I, I, I'll probably do a little update before I do like a final room reveal. Um, so stay tuned for that because um, I'll, you'll probably have another talkative video on next Sunday. My hope is to have Parker Ponty out, um, the first part of Parker Ponty out on February 12th because I think everything should be ready to go. Um, like I said, I'm working on a couple of deadlines. I am filming my digital class a little bit this weekend. More to come on that. But um, I had some other stuff in the works that I had to get to. So and then plus my room, I'm doing this all in construction. So Parker Ponty will be coming. I'm shooting for February 12th being the first week of that. So stay tuned, that is coming. I can't wait to make up my pair. Um, and I think the setup is really gonna work. The little bit that I could get in there and do um, yesterday, I think it's really gonna be really great. So I'm very excited about it. Anyway, um, yesterday and today are the Minerva Craft Club weekends. So Minerva does, Mm, three times a year, maybe twice, three times a year, does a craft club either day or weekend. It's a weekend this time, so it's going on right now. And what that means is that everything on the site is 10% off, but if you're a craft club member, it's a, an additional, it's 20% off. Everything's 20% off if you're a craft club member. I always become a craft club member um, because it means free shipping and it means 10% off all the time which is usually, it's an additional 10% off um, any sales that they do. So sometimes they'll do like random, like all art galleries on sale or all Lady McElroy's on sale or something like that. Um, uh, so that's, you would get 20% off in those, in those situations or an extra 10% off in those situations. So I love it for that. And it also means um, free shipping if you are a craft club member. I think it's 20 pounds a year, um, for that, but I always re-up it. March is when I have to re-up that, but I always re-up it because um, I I buy a lot from them. So it's free shipping, international shipping. Never had to pay customs or anything on any of my orders from them. Um, although, just for regular, their shipping is international shipping up to, for seven bucks. And if you spend over a hundred pounds, it's free shipping, just for regular. But with if you're a Craft Club member, it's just always free shipping. And um, I'm pretty sure, but um, you just get that 10% off and it just pays for itself for me all the time. So I'm always become a craft club member, but this weekend is one of their craft club weekends. And I ironically just had someone send me a message on Instagram, Els, hello, if you're watching, um, asking about how I navigate Minerva's site. They find it very hard to navigate. And I thought, you know what? This would be a good way to answer that question. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna screen, um, jump to my computer screen real quick and just show you how I navigate through Minerva um, because I do find a ton of stuff on there. And it's my go-to if I'm looking for something specific. So I'm just gonna go over there and show you how I like to go through and look for things. And we'll even highlight a few of my fabrics. Um, I'll have a link down below. I am an affiliate with Minerva. So I do make affiliate dollars off anything that you buy from the link, but I note that in the description box, but I'll put a link to Minerva um, just down, just to their site in general um, and probably to their craft club membership. Just so if you're interested in grabbing that, you can do that as you check out today, um, Sunday, as you're watching this um, to get that discount. So um, anyway, that's a, that's a good one. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that that's all I've got. And we'll go to the computer here in a second. I've been very busy, very, very busy by the scenes. Um, I'm so excited though for everything that 2023 has to offer with Tomcat Stitchery. It's going to be a really, really great year. And I sewed on my Bernina 770 for the first time yesterday. Like actually I sewed a whole garment. Can't show it to you yet, but stay tuned. 
And um, it was a dream. So really loving that. That's very exciting. I have my second class. Um, well, you're watching this on Sunday. It's on Monday. Just to learn some more ins and outs. I'm sure I'll learn a lot more. And then my embroidery class is the week after that. So to learn how to use all that embroidery unit and stuff. So things are coming along. I'm going to have a lot of really fun stuff, I think, using that machine coming to you. Okay. Without further ado, let's go to the computer screen. External mic. We're going to see how this works. Hopefully this works really well. Okay, so we're here at Minerva's site, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through. Um, this is exactly, I just typed in Minerva.com. This is what pops up. So as you can see on the main page, they've got their um, their feed that's here, and these are all the kind of the Instagram-ish type posts that you can kind of see. They post their videos, which if you noticed, I did a whole bunch of videos for them. Um, well, five, not a whole bunch. I did five videos for them oh, about a year and a half ago when they were going to start this Minerva TV. And then they got way late a little bit with um, technical stuff, figuring out some of the things with their um, website. And um, just recently got all of that up and going. So if you have seen me on Minerva's site, or I wasn't even, I, they've got it on their YouTube channel too. That is what that's from. Um, I look much thinner. <laughs> <laughs> actually but that was from about a year and a half to two years ago that um I filmed those so anyway um that's all um updated um okay oh also a note about a uh, service and shipping royal mail that they ship with a lot which is their like postal service is um they're having issues with they got hacked and so um they have been having some shipping delays here lately normally I receive on a normal time, I can receive my Minerva packages within a week of them shipping. And they usually ship within a couple days. So just keep that in mind. Okay, this is what I do when I am looking for fabric. I go up here to where it says fabric and I hit fabrics. Okay, when you hit that fabrics, this brings up all the fabric that you can possibly imagine. I mean, just tons. And the way that I go about searching for things that I want is I use all these filters over here on the left-hand side. These are gold. So for instance, if I am looking for a good jersey, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit, or even if I'm just wanting to browse, let's say I'm in the mood, I want something bright and colorful um, jersey. So I know I want jersey because I'm going to make a knit dress, let's say. If you have some brands that you know you love, like Art Gallery or Lady McElroy or Dashwood Studios, I mean, there's many. Mind the Maker is a really good one. There's some really good um, designers. They're also their Minerva Core range is really great, so just keep that in mind. Um, but let's say um, I don't know, you know I want to look at all the designers, so I don't really want to filter by that. But I can come over here and um, I really like floral designs. So I'm gonna put flowers in here. And then I can also choose colors. So um, we're gonna go with green. I've been really feeling green lately. That's something I wanna wear in the summer. But you know, we've got aqua, we've got blue, navy, purple, pink, all sorts of colors, or even rainbow. Let's say bright colored. We're gonna go with rainbow. Things that are multi colored, which probably isn't clearing things out a ton. <laughs> and now I can go over here and search through the fabrics. And this will be much less overwhelming than going through and looking um, just regular. I can also come over here and let's say that the fabric that I, um, or the dress pattern that I'm really liking needs some drape. Um, they may have some rayon and probably that's, I mean, you can search for both. Viscose tends to be the word that they use most in the UK when it comes to rayon products. So if I want a viscose, I'm just going to click viscose because I want something with drape. Now we have all the floral, brightly colored prints. Oh, look at that crazy one. Um, that's kind of cool. <laughs> all the brightly colored prints that they've got, um, in a rayon or viscose spandex. Oh, I've actually made a dress out of this. I did not buy the fabric from Minerva, but they come, yeah, in that colorway too. Okay, this is a good one. It's an Italian um, viscose. I have a Antrim dress from Itch to Stitch out of that. 
So now I can come over here and browse through, and there's not a ton, see? It's much more um, navig navigatable, navigable? <laughs> I don't know. Um, easier to navigate when you go about it in those, in those ways. Likewise, if we're gonna come over here, we can clear all of our filters here. So just hit clear all. Um, let's say that I am wanting to make some pants. I don't think they have just bottom weight. And I'm not sure what I want to make said pants out of. It's all about just going through these filters. If I wanna come over here, and let's say I want um, solid pants. So I'm gonna come over here and hit plain. And you can even search by weight. So if I want heavyweight, and I know that I want woven pants, and let's say I even want some pants maybe that have a little stretch to it, and I can even go down here and say, okay, this pattern, I need at least 20% stretch for this pattern I'm interested in. We can even hit that. And look, we've got two options here which isn't a lot, <laughs> um, but yes, two options here with the 20% stretch. So, um, you know, then you can look and see what they've got. If you decide, well, maybe I don't want solid. We can click out of plain, although it doesn't change anything. Um, more might've come up though at that, at that point, or maybe it doesn't even need to be heavy. Oh, and look at all these that just popped up. So these are woven, fabrics with at least 20% stretch, or with 20% stretch, and we can look through here and maybe we decide, oh, I would like um, something more maybe mid-weight. And I know that gets some of you, and some of that can be very arbitrary when you're looking at weights of fabric, but I just know that all these fabrics that this has just pulled up are wovens with some at least 20% stretch. So that can really help um, narrowing down the patterns. Now, one of the things I like, so if I'm coming on here for basics, I will come down here to brand, and you can look at Minerva Core Range. These, I have not worked with any Minerva core range that hasn't been really good. So um, when I um, was talking, when we were doing all the stuff with this Minerva TV and I was talking with one of the employees, um, she was telling me that Vicki, who, so Minerva is a family run business. It is run by, it's a small business run by, um, by a family. <laughs> It's owned by a family, and um, Vicki is in that family, and uh, she is in charge of fabric buying, is my understanding, and um, she has just gone to all sorts of, you know, testing samples and just really going the distance to make sure that the Minerva Core range is really, really good stuff. So now, you know, if you're looking at the Minerva Core range and you just want some good basics, I would feel personally really good about buying any of this stuff. Now, I may get on here, and so the Minerva Core range, plain poly cotton fabric. I don't like poly cotton fabric, so I wouldn't buy the poly cotton fabric because that's just not something that I enjoy. However, maybe they're anti static, super soft lining. That interest, that could be of interest to me. Or they're um, soft touch crepe. Actually, I think I have some of this. Oh, maybe not. That's polyester. But we can also go over here and we can um, search by um, fiber here as well. So if I'm looking for just some linen, most of the core range, not all, but a lot of the core range is solids like planes. They aren't, um, there's not a ton of prints, although there are some, like there's some stripes. But if I'm looking for um, linen, for instance, I can come over here to the Minerva core range. And let's see, we've got, this is a textured cotton linen. We've got just a washed 100% um, linen. It's probably really soft. I've used this enzyme washed linen, um, and I think that the enzyme washed makes it nice and soft. I've used that on a couple of projects. It's beautiful. Um, they've got a linen noil, which is kind of a little slubbier. 
stone wash linen. Ooh, a heavy. I'd be interested in trying that. Oh, and it's got kind of a little pattern. Anyway, this just, now I'm shopping. <laughs> but they even have, you know, like their linen viscose sweater knit. I've used this before as well. It's lovely. Um, it's got more drape than most linen knits. So definitely something to look out for. Um, yeah, and their viscose linen blend fabric. Anyway, this is all their core range. And then this is a whole um, core range of the yarn dyed linen, cotton, and stripes. So you can easily just kind of look over here at the colors if you don't want to go in, but you can alternatively go into the color or go into the fabric, look at all the different colors, and then see all the extra. They do a really good job of putting all the information in here. So this doesn't have any stretch. 55% linen, 45% cotton. They make a lovely dress. Gives you the width here and then the weight. I know a lot of, well, I get questions a lot about, you know, what's the weight of the fabric you like in grams or ounces? I honestly don't look at that. <laughs> I really kind of go by the light, medium, or heavy, um, which, you know, I realize that can be kind of arbitrary, but I don't normally have an issue. The other thing I like about Minerva's site is if you are looking at this fabric, which I do find this helpful, and you're wondering, oh, will that make a good pair of pants or a dress or a top? You can come up down here and anything that someone has tagged with this fabric, you can see what they've made. So this gal made a jumpsuit, which is adorable, but it is um, a little bit um, looser fitting. So, you know, it's probably, I mean, it says medium weight, so that's what I would say. So you probably wouldn't want to do like a fitted pair of pants in these, but it would probably make a great shirt, a great dress, clearly a great jumpsuit. This gal did a little top, so you can see kind of the drape and the way <clears throat> other people are using it. I find this feature really helpful when it comes to knits, especially like ponties and stuff, because ponties can, you know, come in a, they can come heavy enough for pants. Sometimes they have a little bit more drape to them where you wouldn't necessarily want them as like a legging or like a fitted pant. Oh my gosh, look at this look, girl. She is adorable. And look at this dress she made. See, I find this very helpful though. And most, not all, but most of their fabrics have something tagged over here that um, people have made. That's also an adorable little two-piece suit. And then a lot of times they'll have the patterns and stuff that they've used and they'll tag all of that. Um, this girl's adorable too. She's got a lot of posts. So anyway, um, they'll also often have, yeah, like here they have a video that's going to show you um, them messing around with it so you can kind of see the drape in person. So you can kind of see how it kind of feels and looks, which I think is also very helpful. So I actually find the website to be very helpful. It may just help to know how to navigate um, through that. So that is just kind of how I like to go through and shop. Another good thing, I use this feature quite a bit. If we go in here, for instance, this enzyme wash, I know that this one's on my saved list. So over down here where you have your like, share, and saved, I have already saved this fabric. So anything that I have used that I loved, I put, I save it so that I can easily go back and find it. So if I go up here to my Hello Tomcat Stitchery, and you can see I've got 77 fabrics saved, I can click on this button, and it has all of my saved fabrics. So for instance, my Minerva Core Range Soft Faux Leather that I just made those pants out of, that's, it's right here. So number one, I can easily find it when I'm sh telling you guys about it, but also if I wanna order more, I can easily get back there and order more. Um, I actually need to go through here. I mean, I don't need a lot of, I was saving these just so I kind of knew the prints that I wanted on their, um, this is their exclusive fabric, but, um, so I can probably take some of these out, but it's very handy. So this is that, um, the pure wool that I used for my, uh, Dan Levy look, and I also made my sister a coat out of this. Love the fabric, so now I can easily go back and find it. So putting things on your saved page is also really helpful. And you can break that up into categories too. When you're, um, I mean, like I've made a couple of, a collection, Fall 21, that I didn't put anything in. So <laughs> that's super helpful. Um, but you can make collections if you wanted to do that. If you were planning out your Spring 23 um you know, when you just wanted to save a whole bunch of fabrics into that folder so then you could make decisions on what you wanted to buy or whatever, um, you can do that as well, which is also very helpful. 
And then of course, you've got your profile. You can go to your view profile. And then these are kind of like your page, like your home page. So these are all the um, projects that I have posted for uh, Minerva that are over here. And anyone can post, you, anyone, you can post your projects that you've made over here on Minerva. So you don't need to be a brand ambassador or anything. Anyone can post on their profile. So it's really fun to see what people are making. And then you have more examples when you go to your fabrics to see what people are making with different fabrics. You can also go up here to look for your threads and patterns and trimming, zips, elastics, all that kind of stuff. Um, I primarily just buy fabric from Minerva, but um, if I lived in the UK and didn't have access to Wawak, for instance, I would probably buy everything from Wawak or from Minerva. So this is just a quick place to get you where you wanna go. And then here up at the top, you can see where it says Craft Club. This is the craft club. This is what we're talking. So it's 20 pounds a year to join um, and you get 10% off all of your orders for a whole year. And then when they have sales on things, that is added on to the sale. So for instance, this weekend it's a 10% sale. It's 20% off if you are a craft club member. So they do do that um, occasionally site-wide ones. I think they do two or three a year, like I said. But they also will have other sales, you know, like 20% off art gallery. Well, it's only 20% off if you're a craft club member. So just something to think about, 20 bucks. And they also make a charitable donation with 10% of your subscription fee, which is kind of cool. So there you have it, guys. This is how I navigate um, Minerva. I can always find something. You know, if I'm looking for something specific, I can usually find it on their site. Um, oh, also up here in this top bar where it says exclusive fabrics, this is the lines that they have uh, just released um, with their own designs. So they're viscose um, chalet, they're loopback French terry, and I think they have a sweater knit that's on here. And these are all the different, some of these designs show up on the different substrates. Well, somewhere they've got a sweater knit as well. I've not tried the sweater knit, just the French terry and the viscose chalet, and I'm very impressed with both of those. So oh, that's cool. Anyway, that's just kind of a quick way to get to their exclusive fabrics. And you can go to new arrivals and all that stuff and on sale and all that kind of thing as well. But most of the time, I'm using this filter bar over here to do my searching on their site. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, happy shopping. I hope you can able to take, if you're in the market, able to take advantage of some of these sale fabrics. Um, it's... Yeah, one of my favorite times of year. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got for today, guys. Have a great Sunday. I will see you again on Tuesday with my Distachify makes for January and my fabrics for that I'll be making up in February. All right, guys, have a good one.